What's up everybody, Noel with Black Diamond Services. I am out at a, another H&R Block doing some carpet and upholstery. I got two wands I'm running off of here. I'm doing the uh, carpet and upholstery at the same time. I got a, a worker with me, a good friend of mine that I used to work with at an old place where we were at. So we are running, running dual wand one for the upholstery tool and one for the carpet so he's doing the chairs here the leather seats and backs some of these have some staining on them um, so we're cleaning front and backs and then the leather we're doing a leather cleaner and, and conditioner on all those and then of course I'm cleaning all the carpets uh, while he works on those and then he'll probably be done with those by before I finish the carpet. So then he'll come through and help me uh, work on that. So we'll just be wanting, running one carpet wand even if he's finished. Uh, just because honestly I only have one uh, on me. Plan on investing and getting another one when I can. Um, considering my van has the ability to do... Uh, two at once and from yesterday when we were just doing carpet to today I can't tell the difference in the suction um, that I'm getting while running two of them which you usually you think you get a you know a big loss but it's about the same and I'm running three vacuum lines which is 50 feet each and he's running two uh, so you know we got about 250 or so feet drug out from the van and the steam lines don't really make a difference uh, you just the more you have out the um, the less heat you get at the wand so you want to minimize it as much as possible so just thought that'd be something cool for you guys to learn um, and then also see what I'm up against here so there's a couple couple little spots here and there in the carpet this one isn't too too bad little red spot there um, so this one's I already finished on on this side over here I'm getting started over here and then I'll be looping around back through this side and I'm hoping by the time I get back to this front desk here uh, section he'll be about done um, or close to it and then we'll team up and get on the other side and take care of that so that is pretty much pretty much it uh, we're out here in Turlock California we got three of them to do today so it's gonna be a busy day uh, this is a pretty decent sized job and the other two are gonna be similar uh, maybe a little smaller and and carpet uh, so far this is the biggest building out of the let's see five I've done so far uh, but yeah that's pretty much it I'm not sure why I can't switch to sorry I'm messing with settings here not sure why it won't let me switch to face camera. Uh, maybe it's because I have this held sideways. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. So I'll have to test it out in another video to see if that's the reason why I can't switch back and forth because the settings are the same for the front and back um, for 1080p. So for whatever reason, it's not letting me do it. It only lets me take snapshot pictures. So I will figure that out so that way I can switch back and forth and talk to you guys in future videos. But for now, that is it. Nolan of Black Diamond Services, thank you so much for watching. I am out here at H&R Block, Turlock, California. Really enjoying this nice account that I got. I'm so thankful, as I've probably said in other videos before. Uh, I feel blessed at the end of the year to get these accounts. Um, working on them probably twice a year, depending on how everything goes 
uh, with each spot as they service people doing their thing. So that's something to be very thankful for this year. It's a great way to end the year. Um, always, always be doing what you can uh, at your place of work or if you're in business for small clients all the way up to the to the big ones because all it takes is for one person to take notice and then you can blow up and get a nice account like this and that's all it was one small residential job turned into 18 locations and commercial accounts so I completely crushed my year end for getting some more commercial accounts unexpectedly without even going out and trying to get them myself um, so Stay positive, do your best, treat people well, um, you know, do things out of kindness when possible, you know, you just don't know when stuff is going to come back and, and, uh, more or less return the favor, you know, you gotta, you gotta give to receive and so sometimes that's what it takes and one day it's going to hit you and you're going to realize that all the times that you've been nice and did things for for people something's going to come back to you and you're just going to love it so thank you guys for watching leave me a comment in the down below hit the subscribe if you watched all the way through i definitely appreciate your time i'm going to get back to some cleaning or heck I can always continue on from here and do a little bit in here as best I can one-handed while I got you guys. So I'm gonna do my my best to do a little bit so I can end this video with, with a little bit of cleaning. A little gap in the door, getting debris coming through. It's a little, a little windy this morning. stubborn spot right there. Oh yeah, you know what? It's still December, so hey, why not? of hard to see but even though this looks like it's pretty fresh kind of hide this carpet hides the dirt I'm telling you all of these so far that I've done the other ones last let's see last three I did were more of a brown carpet uh, same same situation carpet tiles but more brown, so I really had to pay attention to where I left off and watch my sight glass on the top of the wand there to see what's coming through. Because if you didn't pay attention to where you left off, you might you might miss a couple a foot or a couple inches, and 
you know, that can make a difference if it dries and, and shows. So a lot of times once this, with these cleaners, once the carpet's dry, it's a little bit brighter and it might make an appearance difference. So I gotta pay attention to where I'm at or make sure that I'm overlapping a half foot or so from my previous previous run.